Hi, hello beautiful souls. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're a first time viewer. My name is Nick and I am a quantum alchemist slash energy worker slash light linguist. So today I want to talk about uh, transmuting energy and how to do it. So when I'm talking about transmuting energy today, I'm talking about it in the context of the healing and growth process. So this is something that all of us are constantly doing all the time, whether we're aware of it or not. Um, transmuting energy is shifty, simply shifting energy from one state to another. Um, so we're constantly doing that with everything, with the food we eat, the thoughts we think, um, the things that come into our scope of awareness. We're always shifting things and, and moving things and alchemizing things in many different in many different ways. Okay, but I'm talking about it um, in terms of, of consciously using it um, for, t for healing, growth, shadow work, stuff like that. Okay, so there are four different levels that we want to transmute when we are working with energy in this way, right? So we want to make sure that we transmute it uh, on the mental level, the emotional level, the physical level, and the energetic level. So I'm going to break these down step or step by step and these are in no particular order um we just want to make sure that we hit all of these areas right so uh when, I, when i'm talking about the mental level this is the conscious level so for me personally this is the one that i kind of tend to forget um because i focus a lot on the energetic and physical right but um whenever we are healing from anything or doing any kind of process like that, we want to make sure that we also are exposing ourselves to things that will help us shift our conscious perspective. Because we can do all the energy healing in the world, um, but our conscious mind still lived through and experienced something, and we need to shift that conscious perspective as well. So we can do this by reading books. Um, these could be self-help books or a novel with a character that you really connect to that's gone through that experience. This could be therapy. Um, this could be um, TED Talks, podcasts, documentaries, whatever. Um, talking with other people. Whatever... Um, you feel connected to that will help you mentally consciously shift that perspective okay so there's one layer to it and the next layer is the emotional layer so we need to make sure that we are emotionally expressing it in some way shape or form this could be art this could also be therapy you know this one could be um talking to somebody as well um Whatever you do personally that helps you express your emotions, journaling, um, you know, whatever, painting, singing, whatever helps you emotionally express it out of your body and into the world, um, preferably in a creative manner. But, you know, like I said, it could also be therapy, talking to a friend, something like that. Um any way to express it out of the body okay so so there's there's two so the first conscious mental perception okay second is emotional expression the the next is the physical body so the body is basically our akashic records for this lifetime and and our ancestors as well but everything that we have lived through and experienced in this life is stored in our body in some way, shape, or form. Our emotions store um, in different, you know, if you have listened to any of my sessions before, you know, I'm always talking about how things are stored in different areas of the body. So those are things that we, we experience. So we need to get those out of the body. Okay, and, and that needs to happen usually through some sort of physical movement. Um, somatic exercises are really, really, really great for this. And they can be, you know, gentle and easy. It doesn't have to be, you know, vigorous exercise. Um, 
but I highly recommend uh, looking into somatic exercises. This is something I'm just kind of um, introducing myself to, so I don't have a whole lot of information. Um, but, uh, you know, yoga is also really good. You know, it helps get things out of the fascia, the tissues. Um, and, and there are, you know, that's a form of somatic exercise. But there are specific exercises that they have um, to help release trauma from different areas of your body. Um, and I've tried one of them, uh, and it actually was really helpful. So that that's something um, you can look into, the somatic exercises. Um, so, oh, and diet. Diet is also really important for that as well, right? So when we're clearing things out of our body, um, we're, we're doing all of this work, we also need to make sure that we're kind of helping it clear from the physical body, both in the way that we are doing whatever somatic exercises, whatever kinesthetic movements call to us to help it uh, release from the tissues, but also with the food that we intake and the beverages that we intake. So specific herbal teas um, might call to you at different points in time. I highly recommend just, you know, get, because I... I love herbs. Herbs can be really potent and powerful and very helpful. Um, so just, you know, going by your intuition, if you're, you know, ever like in the grocery store and a particular tea or herb uh, calls to you, Google it and, and look into it um, and try it um, if it resonates. Um, so stuff like that and, and making sure that we're not putting in more... I'm. I mean, it's good to leave a, live a balanced life and not, you know, when we're doing all of this work, we don't want to restrict ourselves too much in all areas. Um, but it is good also to watch what we're putting into our body. And if we are consciously working with transmuting energy and we're doing all of this other work intentionally, um, it also would um, benefit us to do some diet work too and kind of try to at least... Um, clear it up with uh, minimal processed foods and minimal like sodas and stuff like that. Um, so that way it can, our body has a chance to heal too. Okay, so those are the first three. And again, these are in no specific order. These are just all uh, components of it, of transmuting energy. So we've got the mental, the emotional, the physical, and then the last is the, the energetic body. So this, it, this you can do by watching light language videos, Reiki, you can do whatever energy work that calls to you. Acupuncture is great. Um, massage is actually really good for the last one too, for the physical. Um, that can help release it too. Um, so uh, back to the energetic body, Reiki, stuff like that. Whatever type of energetic work calls to you. Um, you can do your own, you can do guided med meditations that are specifically geared toward that kind of thing. Um, guided hip hypnosis, self-hypnosis, um, this one kind of can fall into, uh, a little bit of the mental category as well as the energetic category. It kind of helps shift things in the subconscious, which that's also important, shifting in the subconscious too. So we want to make a conscious shift and a subconscious shift. Um, but the really big emphasis today was on making that, that conscious shift um, that I was talking about um, when I was talking about the mental stuff. Okay, so I hope that this makes sense um, and that you followed along with me. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. And uh, thank you all for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this and you aren't already, uh, you can subscribe to my channel, and if you hit the notification bell, it will uh, let you know every time I post a new video. And thank you so much to all of the people that have donated to the channel. I super, super appreciate all of you, and uh, I will see you all next time. Much love.